Hello guys, good day to all of you. How are you today? My name is Teacher G and welcome to the subject, Computer Systems Servicing. Our topic for today is all about the types of computers, the different types of computers. I know that all of you already know what a computer is and what it looks like, but still we need to refresh ourselves. Because of the pandemic, I know that uh, most of you are so eager to learn more about computer systems servicing. And because of this printed modular distance learning, it is quite hard to understand, it is quite hard to imagine on how to make things done, how to configure, on how to do, or how to make a computer system works if there is no hands-on experience. Don't you worry, so I created this video for your reference so that even if we are distant apart from each other, you will still be able to learn. I will be demonstrating, I will be performing the task for you. Uh, all you have to do is to answer all the, the learning activity sheets that I am giving and then watch this video so that you will still be able to learn. I know that face-to-face -face is still prohibited in this school year, but don't you worry, you will still be able to learn computer systems servicing. So stay tuned and again, welcome to the subject. Once again, my name is Teacher G. So what is a computer? Uh, I know that all of you already know what a computer is. And if you browse the internet, there are so many definitions, but still it means the same. So when you say computer, okay, it is an electronic device. Uh, it is an electronic device that will manipulate information or the data. So it can store data, it can retrieve data, it can process data. So computers help human beings to make work easier. Through the help of the computer, you can type documents, you can send emails, you can browse the internet, uh, you, can also, you can also use it to handle spreadsheets, uh, accounting, database management, your presentations, of course, games, mobile games, so many games, especially today you are all very fanatic of the mobile legends. No? So computers help human beings to make life easier. So what are the different types of computers? So let us start first with the desktop computer. So I know you are all familiar with the desktop computer. So these are the compu uh, these are computers that are designed uh, to be used on top of the desk or on top of the table, like this one. So this is a desktop computer. Okay, I know that uh, you are all familiar with this one, huh? So these are all desktop computers. It is, uh, it has a larger box. No, it is quite bigger compared to other computers. <clears throat> so desktop computers are made up of separate components. So the main component of the desktop computer is the system unit so you already know what is a system unit right so the system unit is like this one a rectangular box okay uh, i want you to uh, familiarize the components of a desktop computer so there is a rectangular box it can be placed on top of the desk or sometimes it is placed under the uh, table no? Then, of course, a desktop computer, it has a mouse and a keyboard. Okay, so those are the basic uh, components of a desktop computer. Okay, what is next? The next is a laptop computer. So, a laptop computer is powered by 
a battery or an AC powered computer. When you say AC, alternating current. No, battery powered. Okay. So, this type of computer, okay, is portable. Okay, just like with this one. So, this is a laptop computer. So, a laptop computer is a portable personal computer. When we say portable, meaning you can bring it anywhere, anytime without hassle. Now, since laptop is smaller compared to the desktop, so it is more difficult to access the internal components. Uh, you cannot easily replace what is damaged inside of the laptop. Okay? So this means that you may not be able to upgrade the hardware components compared to the desktop. Okay. So the next type of uh, computer is the so-called server computer. When you say server computer, uh, it is a computer that serves up information to the other computers on the network. Meaning that a server computer is something like a storage computer of data where this is the server computer and this is the other computer, the other computer, the other computer. They are all connected. They are all connected to the server where the data of this computer, the data of this computer, the data of this computer are all stored into the server. Okay, did you get it? Again, the server computer will serve information. So meaning you can get information from the server to the other computer or you can save information from your computer to the server. Okay, so server uh, play an important role in making the internet work. So just like with Facebook. One of the best example of this server computer is the Facebook server. Okay. So imagine you are here using a computer. So you are signing up your Facebook account. Then you are saving that information not in that computer. But you are saving that information into the server of the Facebook. You sign up here, but the data is saved into the server. The next day, you are not using this computer anymore. You are using another computer. You logged in your account. At this point, from this computer, you are getting information from the server. So you log in your username and password, meaning you are getting information from the server to your computer. Then from time to time, you upload a picture. That picture is uploaded back to the server. The next day, you are using another computer. You logged in, getting the information from the server. Then the server gives information back to your computer. You upload a video, and that video is now saved again back to the server. And you use another cell phone, another device. You logged in from the server back to your computer. You can still watch your video. That is the purpose of the server. Okay? So it plays an important role uh, in making the internet work. So they were. Uh, this is where the web pages are stored. Everything that you click on the internet it is stored in the web server or in a computer server. The next type of computer, uh, the other types of computer, we have the tablet computers. So, of course, all of you, you're, you have your tablet computers, na? So, they are touch screens. Touch screens. So, 
they are touch sensitive screen for navigation. So the tablets, it doesn't require a mouse or a keyboard, but it is built in in one uh, tablet. Okay. So tablet PCs or tablet computers are more portable compared to laptops, but it is quite smaller than the laptops. Okay, next is a mobile phone. That is also considered as a computer. Because mobile phones today, the smartphones today, can do a lot of things that a, com that a computer can do. So they are also considered now as a computer. If you can... If you can type or if you can work on word processing on the computer, smartphones today, there is also a word processing like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Computers, uh, cell phones today can do, can, can also do what a computer or a desktop or a laptop computer can do. So, cell phones today are considered computers next is uh, game consoles so game consoles a specialized uh, it is a specialized kind of computer that is used for playing video games so like a playstation the xbox the nintendo now all of those manipulates data process data so it is also considered as a com Computer. Okay. Then the next one is the smart TV. Oh. So conventionally TVs are just only for viewing, no? Connected to a DVD or a CD player, then you can watch movies. You you will be entertained by the CDs inserted. But smart TV is different from those. Uh, conventional TV. So, smart TV uh, can also access now to the internet. If your tablets can browse the internet, if your cell phones can browse the internet, if your computer, desktop computers can browse the internet, if your laptops can browse the internet, then smart TV today can also browse the internet. That is smart TV. Okay, so another type of computer is the smart TV. So a smart TV, it looks like the conventional TVs, but it has more functionalities compared to the old ones. So as you can see in the back uh, panel of this smart TV, it comprises of several ports where you cannot see these ports from the old TVs. So... As you can see in the back panel of the smart TV, you can see lots of ports and connectors. But one key feature of this smart TV is this RJ45 port or the LAN port where you can attach or you can connect your uh, UTP cable directly connected to your modem in order for this smart TV to access the internet. So a smart TV is also the capability of accessing Wi-Fi signals in order for this TV to access the internet. So that is why um, it is considered as another type of computer because what conventional or what computers can do, example for the desktop computers, if it can access the internet, if the laptop can access the internet, if your cell phones can access the internet, or if your tablet computers can access the internet, well, smart TV can also access the internet. So this is considered as one of the types of computers. Okay. So those are the basic types of uh, computer. There are a lot more. There are a lot more types of computers that are now in the market. But we are just talking the few because these few items are visible to our localities. There are two main styles of computers. One is PC or the personal computer 
And the other one is the Mac or the Macintosh. So, please be careful. Baka mapahiya tayo. When you saw a desktop computer, say for example, a desktop computer, do not directly say that, oh, there's a PC. Type your document in that PC. Be careful of that one. Because if someone hear that and that person knows that it is not a PC, then they will laugh at you. So in order for us to identify that that computer, that desktop computer is a PC, when the operating system running into that computer is run by a Microsoft Windows operating system, then that is a PC or a personal computer. But if that desktop computer or if that laptop computer is run by a Macintosh operating system or the Mac OS, Mac operating system, then it is not a PC. It is a Mac computer. It is a MacBook, a MacBook or a Mac laptop. Okay? PC, Windows operating system. Microsoft, Windows operating system. Mac, Apple, made by Apple company. So it is operated by the Mac operating system. So I hope you learned something from this discussion. So at least you learn a little bit of this information that uh, these are the common mistakes by many, okay, especially in our localities, that when they saw a desktop or a laptop computer, they will directly say it's a PC. Again, you can say it is a PC when it's operated by an operating system made by the Windows, Microsoft Windows. But when that computer, again, is run by a Mac operating system, it is, power, uh, it is manufactured by the Apple, then that is not a PC, that is a Mac computer, a MacBook. No? So that's all for today, class. Uh, I am hoping that you learn, some you learn something from our discussion for today. Okay, see you in the next video for the lesson two. Bye-bye.